Yo, what is up, YouTube, and welcome back to more me, more previews. Um, so today we're gonna be hopping into Pyrene. Oh wait, there's a trailer that says from the creators. Oh, I didn't even see this. So this is from the creator of Ford Escape the Fold. So if you played that, maybe you you know. Yeah. So it's developed by Two Tiny Dice, published by Indie Asylum. But onto it. Um, it's a roguelike dungeon crawler. I know. I know we have a lot of those today. But um, this one was very different to me because it's almost like a puzzle piece or like a puzzle that you're constantly going around and def I don't know. You have to you have to strategize and play it correctly, otherwise you'll die. And as you see in this video, I do die quite a few times. <laughs> we get a few wins, but yeah, um, but yeah, really cool game, cool demo. Uh, it was fun to play. Um, if you're interested in playing the demo, just go on Steam and type in Pyrene and go play the demo yourself. It's free and open to anyone and it's quite lengthy I, actually i didn't even get to the ending so i'm not sure but um yeah y'all let me know what you think below uh about the, the video uh make sure you give it a like if you enjoy it um subscribe if you want to continue seeing more previews and as always be kind stay positive and remember you're enough this demo is a beta version still under development please feel free to send us feedback we were a village we lived together happily in the wilderness. But then. But then. That's when the Fire Nation they attacked. Crawled from under the earth. And with them came the mountains. We were slaughtered. We were cast away. So now. We, we fight, fight back. back. Okay. Cool start. What the? The village. I have to get back to the village. You can move around using WSD, arrow keys. Move on to the healing patch to regain your strength. That's better. Now you need to find your way back to the village. This map shows the zones you need to cover to reach the village or the red zone. Entering a danger zone, your goal is to find the Voltive Altar to clear the zone. So you just move from card to card. However, once you've made a move, you won't be able to retrace your steps. You can move over the cards and play to see their effects. When you move on an enemy, a confrontation is automatically triggered. You inflict as much damage on each other as you HP health points. Health points are indicated. Yep. You killed this enemy because you had more HP than it did, but it still dealt damage. You lose. Yep. To discover the Volta, you'll need to spend the night. This will allow you to draw new cards to fill the empty spaces. However, spending the night requires you to consume two provisions. Your provisions are visible here. If you don't have enough, you will receive one damage per missing provision. However, be careful. Enemies gain one max HP during the night. Therefore, eliminate as many as you can during the day. To spend the night, click on this button or press the space bar. So what we go up. And then we sleep. Congratulations, you reached the Voltive Altar. The effect of the Voltive Altar is that the zone will restore all your HP and provisions. You can move freely in cleared zones. Okay. Back to the village completed. Okay, cool, cool, cool. The barn is empty. Copy. Mom! Belsama, be free is here you are. I thought I lost you. Are you hurt? Did those creatures attack you? And the others, where are... Calm now. Calm down. I'm fine. I managed to escape before the monsters got here. I'm the person back, but I think everyone will be able to find their way to the village. Well, what's left of it? These monsters destroyed everything. We're no longer safe here. We need to rebuild our defenses. I won't go anywhere without my forge and the wood to work it. 
Don't worry about that. Stay here to reassure the others when they come back. I'll get you some wood. Collecting wood for Matilda. Okay. Oh, so that's where... Okay, so these are the spots where you add the wood. So, I guess we go off to gather. I did not expect that out of this game, to be honest, but I, this is kind of cool. It's different. When you're in the safe zone, you can modify your equipment deck. Your equipment cards will be drawn in the next danger zone. This is because danger zone cards mix. Yeah. Ah, crap. I double clip my card. Okay. Bow, knife, health. Okay. Simple. Oh, you, I forget you sleep. I was like, what do I do? Permanently, okay. This card will be added to your deck. Since your shield to six, deal three damage to enemies and play with thorns, otherwise inflict them thorns. I feel like a shield would be a good idea, right? I was like, uh, am I doing this right? And you receive frost, gives you the same amount of shield. It gives plus two to cards and chest. And the enemy re receives bleed, gives as many gold. Got a relic! You pass the effect the rest of this expedition. Touch on your portrait to see your relics. Okay. You'll have to go that spawn, you won't want to come back here. One second. Is there anything left here? I don't think so. I like this. It's it's simple, but you do have to like actively think about what you're going to do because I mean otherwise you're dead. Some environments such as the Dark Force have special rules. This is indicated by this icon. Before, so Firefly flows over the cards following your movements symmetrically. I click on this power, you can swap your positions at any time. Be careful though, as this power costs one spirit to use. Interesting, okay.
same row and column as me, okay. So we'll go here and then we pop it. up unless I didn't know it does that I thought I could still fight everything Access provisions heal your HP Ooh, I'll just spend the night deals as many damage to enemies as their amount of poison cards to all danger zones. I like that. is also nice. So you do a random part and play from your deck permanently. Spend the night for free. Huh. Just enter the zone that marks the end of your expedition. This area has a boss that must be defeated if you want to win your expedition. There are no Vold of Altars in the zone. Your only objective is to defeat the boss. Now that's raining, weather effects can change the classic rules of the game. Mouse over the icon to find out more. Double its value. Okay. Ooh. So I say. this way. I wasn't paying attention. But it's our barn, I'm better than village, what the... I'm sorry guys, I wasn't paying attention. That's all on me. Dang. You're back already? Are you alright? Are you hurt? No, no, but I couldn't go far enough. I was stupid, I took risks without thinking, and I... Stop this, I know what you're worth. These monsters are really hard to beat when you don't know them. The important thing is that you're back safe and sound, and that you've learned from your mistakes. You'll get there. It's a good way of putting it, yeah. The word shop! 
character now has a luck stat and affinities. That's pretty cool. I rebuilt the watchtower while you were away. Take a look at it before you leave. It might help. The watchtower. Here you can make your expeditions easier by choosing relics to start with. You also find relics that allow you to make in-depth changes to the game, make it more accessible. Oh, it makes the game easier. We don't need that. <laughs> Oh, I must use my hood. All right, let's get a win. That was my bad. I thought I was going to kill him. So I was like, oh, you know, I'm fine. Just keep hitting him. And I was like, wait a second. I didn't think it through. Roll now, and then we go like this. Yeah, okay. I, I'm certain I'm like, wait a second, I was kind of playing that wrong, I think. Provisions heals you. Uh, divine fruit, excuse me. Wow, legendary from the jump. GG, easy. So let's do this. This. I'm bleeding now. Maybe I'll be a little more careful now. Oh, uh, hmm. If I'm doing this correctly, this is should this should max heal me and I should be okay. Spirit cards also heal you when you receive poison. I haven't really received any poison. I think it was bleeding that I saw. Nice. Yep, let's go. I think we'll reset it so we can use the bow.
I think we'll just leave. <laughs> I was like, eh. Put two poison and bleed to all enemies in play? Wow. Shiny. Why? What is so special about shiny? Take the legendary. So what was this again? Same row and column. So we go up and then we hit one. Ah, uh, that kind of sucks. I didn't, I wasn't able to grab all the other stuff, but it's okay. That could be really good if you were on like a full, uh, just like a burn kind of build. So our boss is down here. We have a ton of like armor and stuff though, jeez. Nice. This is doing rather well. Wow. Oh, Zoe. I'm so glad to see you. Everything all right? Yep. <laughs> You're right. This model is really weird. I've never seen one like it. It's like it's flowing. Wait, what are you doing? Don't go near it. It could be dangerous. Zoe, no. She, she disappeared. 20 wood. Zoe, Zoe, you're here too, but how did... Yeah. A portal. You think the monolith has the power to take us back to the village? Awesome. You found Zoe, but isn't Al Alkahan with you? Over there? Are you sure? You can track his trail from this far away. Alkahan and Zoe share a very special bond. I don't understand how, but I'm sure that whatever he is, she'll know how to find him. In that case, let's get going. I'll look for him while you keep guarding the village. Well, I didn't just stand guard. I've rebuilt the watchtower while you were... Oh, yeah. Market built. You can now reroll the content of chests and merchants by spinning. Gold. Ooh, okay. We'll do the tavern. You're gonna change your playable character. What? Oh, I didn't even know that was gonna be a thing. That's so okay. That's cool. Let's do it. Right back into it. This is pretty cool. Again, I did not expect this out of this game, so I am pleasantly surprised. Don't want to waste the bow, so let's save bow. Save our health as well. It's kind of cool. Like, it almost feels like you're solving, like, a Rubik's Cube or something, you know? Simple way of looking at it, but 
Because you're, you know, you're solving a puzzle. Two dodge. Ooh. Deals two damage to the two enemies. A double bow. Ha -ah! We know double bow. What's this way? Ah, uh, that's just back where I came. Cycle it. Ow. Not what I expected. After you attack an enemy, inflicts five thorns to cards around you. Ooh, spirit cards can heal your HP. I want to see what this whole thorns thing is about. <laughs> and we're okay. We're okay. That's the heal. I think we just skip out here so we don't die. Yeah. When there are no more cards in place, spend the night does not consume. Ooh. Okay. That just seems like it'd be good, realistically, right? Well, hello there. Ooh. How much? Oh, I got nine? Okay. I'm sure to save my money for this. The whetstone again. Choose a statistic to improve. Well, I'm broke, so I can't really do that. That would have been cool to know, though. I don't want to waste the health potion. So we health, hit. Thanks to your luck. Ah, uh, what? That's so cool. They actually tell you that too. Three thorns. The enemies in play, and then shuffles all cards. What? What? That seems pretty legit.
Excuse me, but who are you? I don't think I've seen you around here before. You can call me Andos. I came as soon as I heard. I'm here to free those lands from the monsters. Here in Suge it's unleashed. Here in Suge. Come on, who doesn't uh, know him? Here in Suge, the legendary seven headed serpent, guardian of the gateway to hell. Here in Suge has been freed from his underground prison. His escape. His escape shook and lifted the earth, unleashing the monsters that were lurking within. If he was guarding the gates of hell, who dared to set him free? Oh, a demon even more terrifying than all the monsters you met so far. But we'll talk about her another time. We'll meet again, eventually. The cards are falling down. Be prepared. What? What does that mean? Oh. That's what you mean. Nice. Hey, I remember cards are falling. Oh, God. Huh. Pretty cool. Gives you dodge and puts two bleed to enemies around you. Hello. Hello, Dasa. I have been good. I'm back. I'm in. I am Vera. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm finishing up uh, recording this demo real quick. Yeah, no worries, man. I, f I saw you playing that game. I just found the message last night. I just got back. I actually looked it up to see what you were playing. It's it's pretty neat. I wasn't expecting it. Let's see, yeah, 14. Little soft melodies. Yeah, the music's really peaceful. <laughs> Let's see that. It's kind of cool because like you're battling, but it's a puzzle. Like it's a very interesting concept to me. I see that. Blood push. Let's bleed to adjacent enemies. Triggers chain reaction to their adjacent enemies. Oh, these are cards still. Dang. This. All enemies in play. Wow. That could be good. Interesting. Okay, you beat that one.
We'll see how we do without getting the extra provisions. This is seven. Resources consumed when you spend the night. Yeah, I feel like... I don't know. Let's see. We already talked to her. Oh, wait, where are you? Okay. Those multiple enemies, right? Two enemies with the most HP. So let's just cycle this. There we go. Yeah, so something you have to be careful with is so when you cycle the knight, um, the monsters that are left on the board get stronger. So you have to like plan accordingly to that because you could be strengthening something that's gonna kill you kind of thing. That in concept, okay. This, it's this whole passive thing where things are falling. No. Oh, actually, that might have just killed me. Nope. Oh, yep. that saved me. Oh Woo! my god. You cleared the board. Oh, that was close. I thought you were dead there. <laughs> I, I was like, I don't know how I win this now. I was like, oh wait, I have an ability that luckily I have not used. Doubles all poison. I don't inflict poison though. I still need to get something that does that. You should get on that then, sir. Yeah. <laughs> Instead of just talking about it, do it. <laughs> do it. Do it. <laughs> just do it. Get my dad. So, boss is this way? Oh, yeah, boss is up. Oh, here we go. That's Jesus. What the hell? That's it. That's the like fucking boss. That's like the savior. <laughs> well, the gods came back. Okay, hold up. Inflicts two frost to all cards in play after spending the night mountains and then yeah everything's falling still okay 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 uh-huh so boss is this guy he does nine damage jesus okay, i gotta move a little slower here and actually think this shit out Eight and we have 20 spirit days. Oh, I dodged a six hit. Oh, my gosh, you're dead, though. That's crazy. 11 versus an 8, doesn't that mean you die? That would mean I you... die if I do that, yep. Oh. You hit but him, I though. still can't because he resurrects. Oh, wait, no. He won't resurrect. I can actually. I think I technically I can win that right then. Now you win it, for I sure. I think. Seven I'm like, there's like. I feel like there's some status effect I'm not thinking about here. 
But there's no I have no healing on the board. For each Nothing. empty space. Yeah. damage to him what the fuck that's what i'm trying to figure out i was like yeah see oh, i knew there was no, something no. i knew it i was like something doesn't feel right here <laughs> fuck <laughs> yeah that's a little L. end of expedition score 34. dang Oh, I returned him at least. Hey, Jesus is back. <laughs> I have returned Jesus. Oh my God, he has risen. And so, yeah, uh, you go out on expeditions and you gather resources and stuff. Because pretty much the story is like, the uh, I don't know, you were in your own village, you were doing life, and then all of a sudden the world erupted and monsters spewed from the ground and started destroying everything so oh. you're going to gather a bunch of resources to then come back and build your village up to you know continue on okay a tale as old as time exactly monsters come kill monsters profit <laughs> <laughs> but it's pretty neat like I, i've built up the workshop built the tavern market all a bunch of different yeah, and oh, so, I can play so the, Jesus later on. So the run's not over once you die. Okay, so it's nope. okay to like. Yeah, that's nice. Kind of the whole purpose is to like, I guess, die and then come back, build up, go out again. It's like so an extraction shooter. <laughs> yeah, you get stronger and stronger and stronger. Yeah. Oh yeah, and then as you gain expedition ex exploration points, you can then do other stuff. A lot. 